hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy ybk here back with another video and today i'll be showing you guys how to do an frp bypass on a samsung galaxy s20 ultra 5g all right and this will be the easiest bypass you've ever done samsung made a huge change this year and i'll be showing you guys how to get it done if you want to see more of these videos please go ahead to hit that subscribe button right down there and remember to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified as soon as i post a video all right so without further ado let's get into it All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. All right, so it's connected to my Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign into a Google account. All right, hope you guys can see this clearly. All right, so I'm just gonna sign in. I'm just gonna cover this up. And I agree, accept, and now I'm signed in, all right? All right, so now I'll be doing the button combination reset, which the device will register as a force reset, and it should prompt you to enter the previous Google account information that was signed in on the device. So I'm just going to go ahead here now and power it off. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to power it back on into recovery mode. And if you guys want to know the combination for the recovery mode on this, it is the volume up button. Press and hold it while you're holding the power button. Alright, so as you see, wipe data slash fracture reset. And you can read the fine print below in red, where it's stating that if you reset, basically it will ask you to enter the previous Google account that was on the device. Alright, and select on fracture reset. And the process is complete. Now select on reboot device. All right, so now we're gonna wait on the device to power on. I'm just gonna speed this part up a bit because this will take a while. Okay, now that the phone has powered back on, you just go ahead and select on the next button. Then accept all of these right here. Select on next again. And as you can see, it is now saying that an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factor default settings. Connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. So no more hassle of having to remember that Google password that you forgot along with your phone password. 
So you can either create a new one after you sign in to your device or you can create you can reset your password. So when you reset your Google account password, you can end up signing in with that same account again. All right, so I'm just signing into my Wi-Fi here. This is the hotspot from my Galaxy Note 9. So from here on, we're going to go through the basic setup process. So it's checking for updates now. So we're just going to wait on this part to be completed. And as you can see, you can now sign in with a new account or you can reset the password for the old one and sign back into your device. So you can either sign in now or skip. Skip this part also. And just select on more and just go through all of these basic settings for the original setting up of your device. And as you guys know, in the initial setup of your device, you can either choose to add your passwords or your Google account or even these extra apps that are listed right here, which the device comes with based on what Samsung and Google has to offer. Then you're going to go ahead and select on accept right here and wait on this, then skip, exit. Okay, accept, skip again. It's telling you about the recommended apps once more. Then you can skip the Samsung account sign in and then select on finish. So this is the finish screen of the setup page. And then voila, you're now back into your device. So that's basically it for this video guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button right down there. And if you want to see more of my content, you can select on the links at the end of this video. And guys, please remember to turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.